Hi, this is Alex and I'm back with another episode of CEC Tips and Tricks. In this series, we cover some frequently asked questions that we get from our customers from around the region. We had a customer from Thailand visit us here in CEC this past week and they wanted to know if there was a way to speed up colour matching for multiple colours. They brought over an offset printout with a bunch of spot colours used by their existing customer and asked us to match it. Their current process was to match each colour individually by printing a range of similar colours and then selecting the closest one. This way produces good results, but if you've got a bunch of colours to match, it will take up quite a fair bit of time. Today, we'll show you how we can make use of Fiery Spot Pro to match multiple colours at once. In Fiery Command Workstation, we'll select Spot Pro and then create a new group. Set a name for the group and then click OK. Select the output profile that we'll be using and then we will start adding colours into the group. We first measure the reference spot colour and then rename it accordingly. As you can see, Fiery automatically creates the best match for your measured colour. We'll do the same for the rest of the colours that we'll be matching. The Delta E values for all the colours look good, so we'll do a printout to do a visual check and see if we're satisfied with the results. The printout looks okay, but let's say you want it to be even better. For this, we will select Optimize and Spot Pro will prompt us to print out colour patches for us to do our measurements. Once optimization is done, we shall print out the spot colour swatches and do another visual comparison. Now we have the CMYK values of the individual spot colours, which a designer can then use to create an artwork. The downside to this is that it's linked to a particular colour profile that we used with Spot Pro. So if we are changing colour profiles or printing with a different machine, the CMYK values would not be correct. So to work around this, you go back to Spot Pro and save the group as an Adobe Swatch Exchange file or ASE file. After which, we can go to our design software and open the Swatch library where you can see our custom spot colours. This way, you're not limited to a single profile or a single printer. Also, not having to key in the CMYK values also mean that you save time and prevent errors. Hopefully you found today's episode useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to address them. As usual, remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.